probably don't think about it, but when you buy a notebook, well, you probably don't think about it when you buy a notebook, but replacing the hard drive, it's gotten a lot easier as notebooks have gotten newer. Basically, we're going to show you a bunch of ways, though, to replace your notebook hard drive and talk about how you get your data from your old notebook hard drive to your new one. Cool. You're holding, like, a whopping 512 megabyte hard drive. Oh, my gosh. That looks like it's about a 14 millimeter drive, 15 millimeter drive. They're, they're smaller than this now. They're a lot smaller than yeah. this now. Actually, if you take a look, like, back in the day, this is an IBM. You had to take nine screws Ugh. out of the bottom of the case. That's right? nuts. And then you would they, lift I guess off they just the plastic nobody cover. Would ever want to do this? Exactly. And actually, you know, and you look at this, then you've got down here, and you had two more screws down here. And once we got that out of there, don't yank, right? Because if you yank, and I should say, never ever until you know what you're pulling, never yank on anything inside of a notebook, because most of your notebooks are connected by these little tiny ribbon cables. Yeah, that's how I live my life. And uh, never you know, it's good yank to know. anything until you know what you're pulling. You know, that's uh, that's that's why you haven't blown yourself up with a hand grenade. But one of the things you want to watch out, any kind of ribbon cable, you want to be really careful with on the inside of the system. But you look at something here, right? A lot of the uh, older hard drives are like this. They're like 12 millimeter hard drives. Almost all the new notebook hard drives sold today are nine and a half millimeter hard drives. So if you take a look at that, that's 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 actually the medium size. So that's a normal one, or are they even? This smaller is actually now? they're even smaller now. Wow. And one thing you want to watch out if you've got an older notebook and you replace it, you need to get a spacer for the top of this because if you don't on some notebooks, It'll it will rattle. actually rattle around inside <laughs> of there. But if you take a look, we actually have a, a newer HP notebook here. I'm going to throw this off to the side. You know, you. I opened my iBook, which was late model, and I, right. I, there was no way I was going to be able to get it back together again after taking out the hard drive. Well, you got to be careful, right? You have so to you, be really careful. You know, in this case, we've no, got a. These are easier. Yeah, most of the most. The PC, exactly. Look, there's a little, either a, a door on the side or a hatch like this. You'll flip it over. Oh, look at that. And it, basically, you'll have the notebook will be inside of its own little tiny uh, carrier case, right? And usually, there's, you know, we've got a screw over here. Did you have? Did you remove a connector, or is that just how it came out? Basically, uh, most of them, you you undo one screw, the carrier slides out, and then oh, to I get see. the notebook, it's got a snap-in connector. Exactly, and then you might have to do one or two screws on the That's side of amazing. this. Well, it's it's people Much are starting easier. to realize, yeah, and notebook hard drives, hard drives in general, right? They're growing at an incredibly rapid pace, and a lot of notebooks that are only a couple of years old are still running fine. Have like a four gigabyte hard right, drive, right? Right. Um, you know, and if you start carrying on MP3s, that fills in really, really quickly. So one of the things you want to watch about those is when you're ordering a new notebook hard drive, there's a couple things you got to worry about. One is that thickness, right? If it's too thin, okay. something like this, you basically want to make sure it's going to fit. Get the same size as the exactly. existing one. Is. And, and if it doesn't have, can a, you all get the older? You probably can't get the 14 millimeter. No, you can still get. It. There's, a, there's really, it's, uh, it was nosing around actually. Uh, uh, there's basically Toshiba and Hitachi. Hitachi took over IBM's Travel Star business. Uh, they, they did a sort of a joint venture, and then Toshiba. I hate it when I miss that. There's the last one. <laughs> there's always, you know, in the, on all the IBM's I have, there's like two screws. Now this one there's like 35. The uh, Hitachi and IBM combine their hard drive business, so they have all the old Travel Star notebooks, and Toshiba is the other company that does most of the portable drives. So most portable drives are Toshiba, Hitachi, or IBM. Yeah, Fuji and actually it's now Fuji, Hitachi, and, and Toshiba. But if you take a look at this, at the end of this, right, there's a little adapter there. And what's going to happen is almost always if you slide this off, and I can see, I can hear Prager wincing in the control room. Is this room. his computer? I'm pretty sure this is his computer. Oh, I'm sorry, Dave. So props to Prager. So you want to be careful, right? And that's the way, it looks like a regular hard drive, except along with your data pins in there, I don't know if you can see that, you also run your power through this. Right. So basically, you know, you want to save the adapter. The adapter is only going to go on and off one way, so don't worry too much about that. Now, one last thing you think about is figure out the maximum capacity your hard drive can handle. Don't buy an 80 gigabyte hard drive if your motherboard's only going to see 20 gigabytes. How do you know that? Well, that you're going to have to do a little research on. Look at the manual? Yeah, well, look at the manual or call the manufacturer. The thing you want to do, though, is before you start yanking all that, that uh, the drives out, you want to back up your information. <laughs> yeah. Because there's nothing worse than yanking a hard yeah. drive and going, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Henderson report. It's on there. It's on here. Jimmy, get that out of the Legos bag. There's a couple of ways you can do it. For like the last 10 years, right, since 1992, I've been using external hard drives. First, SCSI external hard drives, and then later on USB external hard drives. Firewire is great now because they're really fast. And the nice thing about that, as I plug this into my system, I keep all my data generally on a separate data partition. Whenever I move to a new hard drive or a new notebook, I basically just grab the old one, I drag all the information off of the old hard drive, and upgrade to the new one. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can start using stuff like PC Relocator. I highly recommend, though, you reinstall the operating system in all your applications. It's nice to start fresh. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. It saves your settings, but sometimes, you know, things just don't behave when you try to transfer them yeah. over this way. And one last thing to, to copy the hard drive information, the other way you can do it is instead of using an external hard drive, 
You can actually use a two and a half inch hard drive adapter. Oh, so you could just you put can it in your right PC there, desktop. Put it in your PC to copy the information over. We've got some links to some software, and we actually should hold up one last thing. It's really become common lately. I love these. Apricorn, actually, they give you an yeah. external USB, and they'll bundle it with a drive and some software. You can actually use their software to back your information off to the old hard drive, basically That's off the old hard drive, write it onto the new hard drive, and then transfer it over. Some people have had mixed results oh, really? with the software. I uh, haven't used it. Most people know they're like, a bunch of stuff works. Some of the stuff doesn't uh, work, but we love idea. the idea. Yeah. Exactly. I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still, five years from now, I'm still going to be copying it off to an external hard drive and reinstalling. I just buy a new laptop. Well, you do that every six months. That's right. To a year. <laughs> <laughs> we had details in all the notebook hard drive upgrades. I'm lazy. We talked about the screensavers.com. You're driving America's economy. Uh, I am. That's right. Keep in America employed.